Hey there tech explorers, welcome to this video where we'll dive into the world of apps and unravel the differences between web app, mobile app and instant app. While I'm very sure you're familiar with web and mobile apps, let me add one more and lesser known technology stack known as instant apps. Did you guys ever notice this try now button available on Play Store? Well, it signifies an instant app. Instant app lets you use a specific function of an app without taking permanent space, which means you don't have to install the app to try it out. This is handy for things you might use occasionally like a parking meter app or a language translator app. Now let me share a real life example wherein an instant app held my client. Recently, I met a client who has a restaurant chain in my city. As it is a popular fast food chain, they wanted people to know the nearest restaurant if any customer searches up. And for this purpose, they had a web app. As web apps don't require installation, it seemed to be a perfect choice to hold on regular customers. But bam, things turned up wrong when they were unable to use Google Map features like live location, refresh vacant seats on the real time and on the O. In this problem statement, we gave the client an instant app. Instant app can access certain features of your phone, hardware like camera, GPS, and which was useful for live tracking in this case. We even put their restaurant menu cards and occupancy on their app. Well, this solution provided massive benefits to my client. Web apps generally have more limitations on what permissions they can request on the phone. On the other hand, a mobile app gives you a much richer experience and a better idea of the app's value before you commit users to a download. If you like what knowledge we share, then consider subscribing to my Udemy course on Flutter. Solidify your skills by building real mobile apps throughout the course. You'll gain hands-on experience with core Flutter concepts, user interfaces, data handling and more. Check out the link in the description box below. Let's move to the next part to understand when would a web app be beneficial. You've decided it's time for a vacation. But before you pack your bags, you need to snag the best possible deal on a flight. This is a scenario where a travel booking web app reigns supreme over a mobile app. Number one benefit is performance. Let's take an example for a travel booking when the travel booking web app typically displays flights from a vast number of airlines, allowing you to compare prices, find the cheapest option all on a single platform. Now, if you're a person like me who would explore three to four websites before confirming a booking, then in this case, it's more comfortable and even faster to use a web interface. Number two is the website tools. Web apps often offer more robust search filters and sorting options. You can easily search based on price, travel time, layovers, and even specific airlines you prefer to avoid. This flexibility helps you find the perfect combination of price and convenience for your trip. Number three is larger screen size for your research. Planning a trip involves research beyond just flights. You might want to check hotel availability, research, things to do at your destination. A web app displayed on your computer allows you to easily jump between different tabs, compare information and making the entire trip planning process more efficient. What to choose? Choosing between a web app, mobile app and an instant app depends on the specific needs of your product or service. Here's a breakdown to help you decide. Web app is best for reaching a broad audience across devices. It can have complex features and it might also require a larger workspace. Web apps can be structured with clear URLs, titles and meta descriptions like web pages. Sounds like SEO? Yes. This allows search engines to understand the content and context of your web app, making it more relevant to user specific. If your target audience is using desktop or laptop, then a web app is the best choice. Mobile app. 
A mobile app can be best for features that leverage device functionalities like camera, Bluetooth or GPS. Now you can personalize user experiences when it comes to mobile app. Let's say you want to send timely notifications to users, reminding them of new features, special offers or in fact the abandoned carts. This proactive approach keeps your product top of the mind and drives user engagement. Mobile apps can function without an internet connection, allowing users to access core features even when offline. This is a major advantage for products like travel guides, language translators or games with downloaded content. Instant app can be a game changer for the gaming industry, especially when it comes to user acquisition and engagement. Instant app can be used to offer special game modes, limited time event or exclusive content for existing users. This incentivizes them to come back and re-engage with the game. Remember, this feature exists only on Android Play Store. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like that button and subscribe to the Programming Hub channel for more in-depth exploration for the world of app development. We have tons of tutorials, project walkthroughs and industry insights waiting for you. Happy coding!